What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another video by yours truly. So I've been getting this question a lot in the community, especially when I'm streaming. Hey, Smack, what's the difference between 44111? Is it worth running that or should I go 43311? I've been getting that question so many times, it's actually insane. And as a free-to-play player, I think I can you know, provide a good degree of insight on how it's been working for me. I have been personally rocking 44111 on my Calcharo, on my Havoc Rover, and on my Don Jean. And that's because uh, Havoc and, and Thunder are the two elements in the game there's another element too i think it's the moonlight set uh where you can get two four cost bosses you can farm two four cost bosses and they're obviously infinitely you can always farm and they're much more effective much more quick to do as opposed to going around the map and scout and you know scavenge hunting for those goddamn pesky three cost elites who don't drop a goddamn thing uh the the thunderbird is a pain in my ass him and flautus not only do they not drop as much as the other elites do they also don't drop the stat you want them to drop which is electro bonus on the electric bird who often at times keeps giving me all my fusion pieces i don't even have a fusion dps right it's really annoying so how has it been working for me because i had actually said okay as a free-to-play player i don't have a lot of resources it's quite scarce it's quite finite um, I can't just be doing this mid-max shit in the beginning of the game because I don't have a lot of resources. I need to have a set on somebody that's reliable, effective, and can last me a long time. What I've come to realize is if you run the 43311 and you have a dog shit crit value in your substats, you can't roll crit substats, that shit is ineffective and garbage. It is purely a mid-max method that you should be using once the game has been out for quite a bit of time and you've started getting good crit rate substats rolled in. Because what's going to happen is you're going to have these damage bonuses, right? You're a double electro damage bonus on the 2-3 costs or electro attack percent on the 2-3 costs. But your crit value is 30 over 200. Your crit value is 40 or 50 over 200 or 180. So you're, it doesn't matter if you have that extra damage bonus or that extra attack percent, you're not landing the crits as much as you could be. Whereas with the 44111, it's way easier running two crit rate pieces or maybe a crit rate crit damage piece, getting the extra crit damage very early on to the point where you don't have to stress as much as, as uh, you know, about the substat crit value. You don't have to stress as much because you got those two double crit rate crit damage bonuses. And I have tested these builds and if I'm being completely honest with you, I haven't gotten into the math yet, into this game, just getting off a little, little side tangent. I haven't gotten in the numbers yet. Why? There's still so much to learn. There's so much to do. I don't want to talk about numbers yet. It's, it's not that time to talk about numbers yet from where I stand. I'll talk about numbers once I have everyone built and now we can get into the mid-max nerdy shit. But for now, how are these, how are these 44111 builds performing? They're, they're performing, especially for me as a free-to-play, they're performing very well. In fact, if I'm being honest, the numbers kind of look pretty identical. Now, is that true? Probably not, but I could hardly told, tell the difference. And I wanna show you guys how my builds are looking on these characters that I'm using. And then I have a little showcase with Calcharo uh, against the Tower of Adversity, against that douchebag bird, uh, showing you how he performed with the 44111 build. Good crit value, most importantly, good damage, and I was able to squeeze out a 12-star clear. Uh, I think that's important context to provide with, with regards to the value. The Havoc Rover is also doing good damage. She's ulting for around 34 to 40,000 damage. With my Jian Shin attached to her, she's like doing auto attacks for like 4K to 2K uh, in rapid succession. It's good damage that can last for a very long time honestly i'm pretty sure you can use these builds until the ends of time if you want it to but i know everybody wants to have the best sub stats however in the beginning of a game the launch of a game you don't have that luxury you really just don't you don't have the luxury to be mid maxing also as i'm sure you guys are probably uh wondering smack is the free to play account review coming soon we want to see what your account looks like i'll be doing that i'll be doing that next very soon all right just bear with me a little bit uh, I got a couple more videos I want to talk about. Uh, I want to talk about the echo grinding experience and how I was able to boost my account thanks to grinding tacit fields. Like uh, I, there's a couple more things I want to cover and then we'll do the full blown free to play account review. Uh, anyways, my Havoc Rover sitting at 90 over 226. That's thanks to the dope. No, <laughs> I've eaten a food buff. Take away 22%. And uh, yeah, the, the food buff gives 22. So 80, 70. 68 she's sitting at 68 if you take away the 22 percent crit rate food buff i've ate already 68 over 226 which is actually very solid 
Uh, if we come over here, I have this at plus 25. I have this at plus 25. She's rocking one crit rate and one crit damage. And that's because once you get Rover up to, I believe it's probably her last one. Yeah, once you unlock the S6, she gets a free 25% crit rate in the dark surge state. So from where I stand, if you're gonna do the 4 4 one 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 build on her, it's better to just do crit rate here, crit damage here, and then, you know, uh, wait on that S6 and then she'll be looking solid. And like I said, this build, regardless of if the double Havoc bonus is better or, or Havoc attack percent, doesn't matter. I guarantee you the damage ain't gonna be that big of a difference. This build is way more easier to build and you're gonna get some uh, some good value out of it for a very long time. And like I said, I'd put my money on it and say the build can last till the ends of time. You don't need the best of the best builds. Now I'll be honest, I got some good sub stats on my, on my builds because what, what can I say? I'm the free to play emanator. The game blessed me all the time. Uh, look at that. <laughs> Oh uh, man, I wish I could have actually recorded all of this because I was doing it off stream with my boy and I was literally calling these uh, these crit rate rolls and crit damage rolls. It was the funniest shit ever. Get, not getting off topic though, this is my double uh, four cost one 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 build on my Havoc Rover and she looks solid with it. Cal Charo, he's at 60 over 185. He doesn't have the 22% crit rate built in. That's 60. If he, do, if he did, it'd be at 82. What I just came to find out that the only people that are gonna have that 22 built in are the people who are already uh, put on the field. So she's not at 76, that's 22 more. He's not at 53, that's 22 more. But these two, these three units aren't even on the field right now, so they don't get that buff. Cal Charo is at 60 over 185 or 186. And here's the thing. First of all, he can get more crit damage on these subs, right? Uh, but the thing is, I haven't even built these up yet. Once I build these two to 25, that's another, what, three plus four, another 7% crit chance. That'll put him pretty damn close to 70% crit chance over 186. And I had a dog water cal charo build when i was running uh the three three one one because these three maybe i still yeah here we go look at this piece right here bro it's ass cheek that's what i was rocking and then this one i already dumped it because i was just like bro this piece is so garbage it was another three cost attack percent bird that just rolled like defense hp hp defense so i said screw this bro i'm getting two crit rate four fours and i'm calling it a day man and guess what it's been doing me wonders uh, finally, my Don Jean, I, I can actually just swap my Rover off of her build and slap it on Don Jean if I wanted to, or because two, uh, two four fours are so fucking easy to build, you can just grind the bosses for double crit rate again, which is what I did. So once I take this up, she'll be good to go and she'll have good crit rate value, man. And Don Jean will be ready to rock and roll at sitting at a solid like 60% once I top everything off. So it's way easier to build, saves way more time. You don't have to stress about getting these goddamn annoying three cost echoes and it'll last you for a very long time. It's good. It's good builds to invest in. Most importantly, at the launch of a game, it, at the launch of a game, your resources are just incredibly scarce. I can't stress that to you enough. And it's built that way to instill that gotcha pressure into you to want to spend money on the game. So I recommend 44111 right now over the three threes unless you just get god tier rolls on those three three sub stats then sure you can run that uh but most most likely a lot of people are probably running through the same thing i'm running into which is trying to get those main stats and then you get the main stats and then it's dog shit fucking sub stats so your crit value is looking like this right here <laughs> which is horrible uh so that's my recommendation now let's do a little showcase where cal charo goes up against the bird in the tower of adversity and then we'll wrap this build off all right so this is going to be the 44111 cal charo sitting at right now he's sitting at 61 over like 186 and again he's not even fully built a lot of the pieces are plus 20 plus 20 yeah they're, they're sitting around plus 20 because plus 25 is just very expensive uh right now we're just trying to keep those two birds together and if we can get lucky and get a annoying um little one of those whatever the hell you call those mobs if we can keep them together as well great um i'm using sanwa with calcharo because her basic attack deepen does work on his ultimate basic attacks because they're not considered resonance liberation they're considered basic attacks which is nice um pretty solid team though it's, it's a good copium team for uh you know a yinlin holder once yinlin drops i'm swapping out uh sanwa for yinlin of course Okay, right here, we got a whole minute and 15 seconds to get rid of this bird. And this is where you get to really see Calcharo pop off with the 44111 build. 
By the way, I, I, I love Sanwa. I really do. Notice that quick swap there. I don't even think the bird... Yeah, I think I quick swapped too early. The bird didn't even come down. That's unfortunate. Look at that damage, man. This is 4411 costs at level 6060. And I'm telling you, if you go look at a 43311 cow, it bro, it looks about the same, guys. <laughs> it looks about the same. And I guarantee you they worked 80 times as hard for that 4331 in all kinds of resources man you get that 44111 that shit's gonna hold it down for a hot minute guys i guarantee you all right there we go very nice notice before i popped old i did the heavy attack uh plunge because that gives a Kalchara a nice little damage bonus one more dodge this bird's annoying bro he never stops moving a part of the time crunch and there we go that's a uh that's a three star clear with the four four one 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 so there you have it man a uh, nice build good good budget build to hold you down until we get into the point of the game where we can afford to throw away resources uh in an effort to get better stats uh so there you have it and havoc rover it's the same concept in fact i'll show you the havoc rover damage so you don't feel like i'm bluffing and then we'll wrap up the video all right so this should be able to show you how much my havoc rover is doing with the 4411 cost while we were going up against this monkey here it is look at this damage all right 4k there it is here's an ult for 30 34.5 good damage another like boot like a 30k from that ult too so yeah that's the havoc rover with the 44111 build and all i did was get a boosted crit rate from the food i ate so it doesn't impact the uh the damage numbers you're seeing on the screen at all overall guys i think running 44111 is the best way to build your characters that can afford those builds like who have the fucking elements that can grind two four costs i think that's the best method to go for right now at this stage in weathering wave who cares about the damage numbers that are being mapped out by the theory crafters right now which i'm not trying to throw shade at them they're doing a fantastic job i wouldn't even stress about that i'd be stressing about just getting characters built and that's one of the best ways to do it in the beginning of the game right now thanks for watching and i'll catch you guys on the flip side